Come strapped and ready, but not afraid. That is a protesters call to action during this morning's peaceful protests. Now armed with guns and setting up tents, protesters remain outside the Seattle Police East Precinct. They've been out in streets of the Seattle's Capitol, Na Capitol Hill neighborhood all night long, and it just doesn't seem like they plan to leave anytime soon. Yesterday, police removed the barricades, allowing the demonstrators into the street directly in front of the building. King 5's Kelly Greenberg is live in downtown Seattle to explain why the department is now taking a different approach, Kelly. That's right. It's a new tactic. What uh, Police Chief Carmen Best is saying, they're looking to meet peace with peace. So by removing that barricade at the East Precinct, by no longer holding a line of officers and letting those protesters move throughout the streets, that's how they're looking to send that message. Now, Chief Bess has said this de-escalation strategy is an exercise in what she says is trust. For more than a week, the department has the department show of force. It hasn't de-escalated clashes between the demonstrators and police. You have seen on video demonstrators saying that SPD is escalating things by using flashbangs, pepper spray and tear gas. SPD is saying a small group in the crowd is assaulting police. They're throwing things like rocks, using things like lasers, and have injured more than 25 officers. Now, at the East Precinct right now, the windows are boarded up, there is fencing, and the city has applied fire retardant to the timber of the building here at the police headquarters, also here downtown. This building is boarded up as well, but we should mention the East Precinct has not been abandoned. There's still officers in the East Precinct. However, they did move things out of the building yesterday as a precaution. But as uh, Michelle just said there, there are protesters outside pitching tents, planning to stay there. Uh, but as of now, there have been no serious incidents to report. Live in downtown Seattle, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News. All right, good news there. Callie, thanks for the update.